Welcome back to the channel, you guys. My name is Corey. This is Lennox. You're watching Cab Driven. Now, I have a lot of things to say today, and the main first one is, I'm sorry. I am completely wrong. I lied to you. Well, not really lied, but I did not win that race. Not by a long shot. I will post it up right now, the, the numbers. Um, we were car 310, and as you can see right there, technically I won. By the quarter mile time, I won. But how everything works these days with drag racing, Vin Diesel's wrong. Super wrong. Dominic Toretto, you lied to me. I didn't, I won by an inch and I still didn't win. I, I, I this, ah, I'm so upset now. I can't even watch the franchise now because it, I still can't. But besides that, I, I, I'm upset. I'm super upset that I didn't win, even though I have a better time on the quarter. All the other numbers in their account towards the fact that he won. I don't get it. Don't ask. I had a huge blast for that whole thing. I even had to ask Jared why I lost, and well, it, it, it didn't turn out any better. He just kept telling me bad news after bad news. So, breathe in, breathe out. It's okay. I'm not worried about it. I'm not even stressing about, about it. Matter of fact, he should be stressing more than anything because, I mean, he almost lost to Ikea. <laughs> But he didn't, so he's lucky on that end, I guess. Now, for the main reason why you guys clicked on this. Not only to hear me confess that I am sorry and I lied and, well, initially I thought I won. I am here to tell you about the Cobra. First thing about the Cobra, yes, it's home. Yes, it's sitting right behind me. Why is it sitting right behind me? Well, I wanted to do a few things to it before I started working on it. The main thing is, is I didn't want it sitting there waiting for parts and nothing being done. So we're gonna wait for parts. First of the year, we're thinking the parts all should be in. Once the parts are in, then we're gonna start knocking it out. So in the meantime, I'm gonna do a few things to it. So today, I'm gonna show you around it. Yes, we are gonna get the stuff done. Parts should be in around after the new year is what we're thinking. Uh, a couple things have been delayed, but at the end of the day, we're gonna get it done. Uh, we're actually gonna do something kind of special to this car. A lot of people either do it turbo or supercharge it. We're actually gonna do both. We're gonna twin compound it. That'll be something we'll do much later on down the road. I just need to actually get in it and drive it and see what else it needs before I start adding more power to it. Right now, I just wanna get it done, drive it, get the feel for it once again. I haven't driven the car in over five years. I guess that's what you get for <laughs> working on something and then running out of time because you get busy with everything. So I'm going to show you guys around the car, show you some brief ideas of what's been done. Everything that's truly been done to the car will be in the description below. So give those a check out. I'm going to try to start it up for you guys, but it's not the sexiest thing to hear right now, honestly. Um, other than that, enjoy the montage. Here is what I'm gonna say about this car. It has been a very long project. There's a lot going on. We, I will get this done. It's just gonna take a little bit more time. Now I do have the spark plug that went bad. It is right here. I'll take a picture of it and post it, but this is, it's completely smashed. Completely smashed. You can even see on the top here where it's just looks like something's been hitting it and the threads are just completely rounded off. So it, it's been definitely hit a few times. And that's what did the engine in. Obviously when you heard a thing idle, wasn't idling properly, it's, it's, it's a problem child. And is it fixable? Absolutely fixable. It's just, it's gonna take more time. Um, other than that, I'm just gonna show you guys a few things that's done inside the car. Inside the car, not much. Uh, eventually I am gonna put a 10 point roll cage. I'm gonna put it inside the pillars. I'm gonna have it nice and cleanly and I'm gonna have it to where it goes into the dash. Just a nice clean into the dash. Is that, is that necessary? Probably not. I just want it to be clean. I'm gonna hold on to this car. This car ain't going nowhere. I'm not gonna get rid of it. it ain't going absolutely nowhere. And um, I've had a few people try to buy it and nothing has really grabbed my attention on price wise. Um, I know it's a matter of what, whoever will pay for it. And right now I don't wanna sell it. And if the proper price came around, you betcha, I'll sell it. Matter of fact, 
I had someone, I, I posted this car up and I, I'll put that now. And it shows him basically BSing his way through trying to buy this car. It's hilarious. Check it out. Um, it, it's, it's, it's the worst thing you've ever seen. Um, but other than that, inside the car here, the only thing I've really truly modified is this. This module right here will actually drive the water pump and the fan. It is a uh, Davis Craig system. Um, everything goes through this. So when you when I plug it in, it tells me that it was the temperature. It'll actually uh, run the, the fan and the water pump three minutes even after shutting it down. Now, the reason why I did all that is this car gets autocrossed very heavily gets autocross and the problem with that is the engine is heat soaked pretty badly now with it being heat soaked and you just shutting it down it doesn't help so a lot of people they'll sit there and idle the car sit there and run it idle it and with you're still producing a lot of heat with that and it's trying to dissipate the heat so with this system i don't have to sit there and let the car run and idle i used to have to throw bags of ice on top of the motor with a fan blowing on it try to drop the temperature um and yes we are doing the head cooling mod where it kind of fixes that back two cylinders overheating that should be fixed by the time this build is done uh, but the great part about this is i can shut off the car it will run the the water pump and the fans until it's down to the appropriate temperature and then it will shut it off now that whole system together has been actually an absolute pain to wire up because i'm also still wanting to have a functional ac system and that I, there's no two separate fans so it, it's been a complication but the guys who have been working on this and i they do not want me to say their name or i would be blowing them up because they have helped me out so much with this build it's ridiculous i literally gave them the car the wheels wouldn't even turn because the alignment was so off there was parts everywhere i gave it to them and they basically have put piece this thing back together to where it is it's better than i've ever imagined and when i say piece this thing together i mean i'm they're taking my flaw my flaw which was working on one side not finishing it then going to the other side and then not finishing it and bouncing all over the place when you do that i had it was just a madhouse everywhere and i'm thankful that these guys figured out what i was trying to do and successfully did it uh bravo to you guys if you you know who you are and i wish i could spill your guys's company out but they really don't want it they're they, they deal with a lot of customers a lot of them uh, matter of fact um there was another youtuber that went to them and westland chaplin i think that's western chaplin western chaplin hit that you know that cop car he has with the hemi in it that car went to them um to, to get it tuned and that's an interesting story but um other than that i'm gonna go underneath the engine and show you exactly what's been done underneath that tripod just fell we did do upgraded brakes on the car. Um, I didn't do the backs, I did do the fronts, the wheel woods. I did want to still put uh, 17s on the car so they didn't do the big, big brake package, but it does have the six pistons on it. So with that being said, now underneath the car here, uh, we're gonna stick with a stock supercharger. Like I said, haven't decided what exactly I'm gonna do, but we did leave with the stock fuel rails and we just made a return style system all the way to return that brand new AC system because my genius self removed it. <laughs> <laughs> and then now living in Oklahoma, I regretted it, so we put it back. Um, now the spark plug that blew, it blew over here on this side underneath the intake. It completely blew. I need to, I'm gonna put a scope in there so I can show you guys how bad it is. But um, they, they sent me some pictures and unfortunately I don't have those pictures still, but it's bad. I mean, the pistons just, it just looks like a graveyard of landmines everywhere. It's just horrible. Um, really hasn't been too much done underneath the engine bay. Uh, relocated the battery. I mean, whoopie do on that stuff. Oil cooler, radiator. I mean, it's just basic stuff, stuff that you would just throw in here. And um, obviously we got a different K member on here. Long two headers, um, upgraded alternator. And I tell you what, the alternator part on the is, is remarkably a pain in the ass. I have never seen a car um, where it is literally impossible to get a radio, uh, a radiator, but an alternator that will just function like it should. Um, I don't know. It, it's we. This is our second one we had to go through, and, and so far so good. Um, the last one was pumping out. They said 19 volts, and the regulator went out. It's crazy. Back here in the trunk. 
basically put a bigger ice box in the back but the battery back here yes i put it in the middle um what i'm planning on doing is putting some dynamat all the way around here to silence this thing back here up um, while we're at it i'm actually going to put a false floor on it so what the false floor is going to do is going to lift up the floor to where we can't see all these wires and stuff um with that false floor obviously it's going to look a lot cleaner we're going to hide that bar back there um and we're also going to put obviously the panels back in still have quite a bit to go um honestly this is probably the most extensive i've ever done a car and um probably the longest it's taken me to do a car too <laughs> um obviously you saw all the this thing has been sitting in the shop for about a year and they get so jammed up with cars that i mean obviously whatever was sitting above it was leaking am i upset about that honestly i know out of the whole thing i'm not even close to being upset um what i am upset about is my front bumper i can't reuse this effing bumper um the front bumper is just trash um as you can see I, this has been like this since i got it you know we can do fiberglass welding but at this point i just want to replace it whoever had this car before me they honestly put this right here and it scratched the hell out of my freaking pain look at that oh my god now i'm more pissed oh man um obviously you know there's supposed to be a bracket here that hooks into these holes and it's whoever had this car before me did this i think i'm having to repaint the car there's so many scratches on this car it's ridiculous i've never I, I think at the end of the day i'm gonna have to repaint it or wrap it um or both i might even just paint it and then put a wrap on it keep it preserved i mean this dark shadow gray is a beautiful car but it just has not held up with oklahoma's you know roads and then Col colorado's roads and then i've done three road trips with this car and i think it's probably time to get it painted it's only got seventy-five thousand miles on it so shouldn't have to maybe i can buff a lot some of these areas out maybe do some paint correction but i don't know i'm looking around and maybe i'm more overlooking it but yeah but other than that you guys got a pretty brief idea of what's going on with the car <sighs> she's going to be a bit of a project i'm excited for this project i'm excited to finish it. i'm excited just to drive the bloody car but other than that any questions like i said in the description i'm going to put every single thing that has been put into this car um all the way down from the you know the ground up every single thing we even got new wheels we need to put tires on i mean there's just a lot we still got to do at the end of the day stay tuned we're gonna go along with this build it's gonna be a long process i can't be there all the time to keep an eye on it while it gets built but i'll try my best to be there um, other than that so we'll see you guys for next time <laughs>